Hi brothers, sisters in Christ. Um, first of all, I encourage you to watch the whole video. I have a lot of information I want to share with you, but I'll try to make the video very short. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I saw God and pretty much what God showed me. And I encourage you all, I'll talk to you about how you can have some of the supernatural experiences that I've had. So, that I was blessed with, blessed with, I should say. So, uh, before I had the vision, before I saw God in this vision that I had, um, I was getting into an argument with a couple of non-believers over YouTube, and it was in the YouTube section comments. And I was, I wasn't, I wasn't doing my job as a Christian. I was being very hostile. I wasn't showing love. I wasn't kind, and I had to repent of it. And as Christians, I've been guilty of doing that. As a Christian, I've been, I, I haven't always showed love to non-believers. I haven't always been the very best Christian that I can be I should say so after I got into that argument I had to confess it I had to turn away from that sin and I asked I asked for God's forgiveness so that same day um, I had a vision and in this vision I was completely awake so it was an open vision there's visions where you have visions while your body's asleep but your spirit is up and you have the vision but there's also visions where your body is up and your spirit is up so you're completely awake when you have the vision so in this specific vision I've had visions before that I was awake and I've also had visions before where I was asleep but in this specific vision I was completely awake and before you have the vision I'm sure some of you can relate to this is before you, the vision actually starts you feel God's spirit all over you and it feels so amazing it's, it's such an electrifying and you get these tingling feeling all over your body and it just feels amazing and then you see the vision. Um, so in this case, something similar happened. I felt I felt the Holy Spirit taking over my body. And when the vision started, I looked up and I saw Jesus Christ in the clouds. And I was in my room, so I wasn't. I didn't see this vision with my physical eyes. I saw it in my spiritual eyes, and it was amazing. I think the Bible says, "Whether I was in my body, I know not. Whether I was outside of my body, I know not." I can say for sure this was definitely one of those experiences when you say, "Whether I was in my body, I know not." And so I looked up and I saw Jesus Christ, and He was in the clouds, and dude, He was amazing. He was. He was brighter than a thousand suns, I should say. He was he was glowing. He was all white. He was this this light was coming off of him. And I looked and I saw him. He had his ha hands reached out to me, and there was clouds to his side, clouds to his left, to his right, and he had his hands hands reached out to me. And but the thing was, he was so bright that my my eyes didn't hurt, but I couldn't make I I couldn't make out his what his face looked like or anything like that. And that's I think that was hidden from me what his face looked like and this this is not the first time I, I saw Jesus Christ I've had I've had other visions too when I when I saw the Son of Man and but this was different in that he was he was glowing man he was he was so bright he was glowing and it was amazing and and after and that thing I saw he 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 was up in the clouds or whatever right and then he was glowing and then the next scene the vision transformed and then I saw a big banner. This banner was as bright as Jesus Christ. It was a big banner and it read love. And that's what that's the message that God was telling me is that when I after I confessed, after I repented of my sin of being a hostile Christian, I was blessed with this vision and God showed me mercy and he's and he encouraged me to show love with that right after I saw Jesus Christ, who is God the Son, he he transformed and then the, this big banner came and it read love and that's that's amazing. And I encourage you if 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 you guys and if you guys haven't had any supernatural experiences, if you guys haven't been blessed with anything of that sort, I can say for sure is God blessed me on multiple, numerous occasions with supernatural experiences, and I'm and I'll be forever grateful. I'll, I'll use that to bring Him further glory, further honor, further praise. So if you haven't had any supernatural experiences, if you, if you, if Jesus Christ hasn't revealed yourself to you. Get on your knees and pray. Say, God, please bless me with a vision. Bless me with a dream. Bless me with a revelation. Anything. And see if God reveals anything to you. He might not. But he might also show you mercy. Like he showed me mercy. And he reveals something to you. See, I was in sin. I was being hostile to non-believers. And after I confessed. After I turned away from that sin. God blessed me with a vision. He showed himself to me. And then he, sh and then he gave me a message. He said, love with a big banner. And that was amazing so i encourage you guys god is real if you want him to reveal yourself to you just ask him to and beg him to and the thing is some people they're like oh 
why doesn't God reveal himself to you? And I'm like, have you asked God to reveal himself to you? Have you asked for a revelation? Have you asked for a vision? Have you asked for a dream? And the thing is, sometimes God tests our faith. I mean, I've prayed before for, I prayed for revelation. I, I fasted and sometimes I didn't get anything because sometimes when God just, he's testing your faith. He wants to see that even after he doesn't bless you with what you want, will you still be faithful? So don't be discouraged. If you prayed once and said, Jesus Christ, give me a re revelation, give me a dream, give me a vision, and he gave you nothing, he's just testing your faith. So be patient. Don't give up. You say, if, if you pray for something once and it doesn't happen, pray until it does. God wants to see how much you want it, how much you want to see him, how much you want to feel his love. And I, I got to tell you, when you have before you have a vision and you feel God's Holy Spirit all over you, it's the most wonderful, it's the most amazing feeling you can feel. You just feel God's love, man. It, it feels so amazing. And then not only do you feel God's love, but in the vision you actually get a revelation from Him. In this specific revelation, I saw Jesus Christ Himself. He was glowing, He was bright, and He gave me a message of love to encourage me to be a kinder Christian, be a nicer Christian, and be a more loving Christian. And in other visions, I've had another vision when I saw the Great Tribulation, and that was that was something else. That was a, The message he gave me was completely different. I mean, when I saw the world in the Great Tribulation, after the rapture, I mean, the world was in chaos. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to my other vision in the in the description box of this video. And I also, I also want to make this clear, there's nothing special about me. When I talk about things that I've seen, things that I've God has showed me, it's not because of anything I've done. It's because He showed me mercy, He answered my prayer, and He blessed me with revelation. So don't think I'm, I'm nobody special. I'm just a brother in Christ. So I'm nobody special. Don't think I am anybody that God showed me the things that He showed me. And He can do the same for you if you ask Him. He wants to see how much you want it, and He'll have mercy on you. I pray that. So anyway... This was my this was my um, testimony of how I saw God and what God told me. And also in the description box of this video, I have a message about the end times. And please read that message. Please, please spread that message to anybody that you haven't spread to already. And warn people that the end times are near. I would say we're we're right at the brink before the, before the rapture. Where I, I believe the rapture is imminent. Bible prophecy has been fulfilled and homosexuality has been accepted israel has been stored as a, restored as a nation there the money hungry preachers have came and deceived many and led many astray and what else blasphemy is commonplace so yeah bible prophecy has been fulfilled the, the rapture is imminent and if you're still living in sin and if you're not if you're not giving it all to jesus if you're if you're still living in sin if you're not repenting i mean don't expect that you'll go up in the rapture. You gotta confess your sins. You gotta turn away from your sins. You gotta, if there's a sin you're struggling with, beg God to give you the power to overcome that sin. That's all I gotta say. Anyway, anyways, thanks for listening. All glory to God for blessing me with this wonderful vision that He blessed me. And I give Him glory. I give Him praise. I give Him honor. Thanks for listening and have a great day.